this is the study guide for your final exam. So exactly like the midterm exam, same exact format, part one, multiple choice, part two, essay questions. Uh, you have 40 minutes to do your 40 multiple choice questions and 75 minutes to do your part two essays. So like, like I said, like the midterm, I've taken the, the key terms that are at the end of your book, um, each chapter, I should say, uh, key terms, key people, and reduce the list to a more manageable list. Uh, so go through each one of these. Again, if, if a term is not on this list or a person, it will not be on the chapter. All of your questions will come from these potential terms here, okay? So uh, to study for your exam, study from this, this list. Of course, use the book to get your, your definitions and answers and so on. So all the way from chapter 23 uh, through the last chapter of our book, which was chapter 29, here you go. Um, so going into the second part of the exam, part two, essay questions. Again, this is about supplemental lectures. There's eight presented to you in the class, and we'll get to those at the end here. Uh, like, the, like the midterm, I'll reduce the, the eight to six. When you open the exam, that will be the first time you'll see what six are available. You then choose from the remaining six and write three essays. The assignment is to write a review of the lecture. Follow the outline. If it's on the outline, include it in your essay. Uh, not to suggest that you're not going to have other things uh, in your essay that's not in the outline, but for certain sure, if it's on the outline, uh, to, you know, uh, add it as a topic to your, to your essay. But please follow the outline. Start with the intro is given to you. Describe the main points, always end with the relevance. Don't, don't put the relevance first and the main points last. Follow the outline, okay? Should be three parts intro, uh, to your essay. A brief introduction is given to you in the supplemental lecture. Describe the main points of each subject is given to you in the lecture. State the relevance also is given to you in the lecture. And ju just for the relevance, nothing else. Word for word is acceptable. For the relevance only, I, I will accept that. That that way, I know that you understand and 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 have it. Okay. Um, again, very key. Follow the outline. You have 75 minutes to write these essays. Uh, you can use your supplemental lecture notes and the outlines from your class. So again, uh, googling will not help you. I know I'm repeating myself that we went over this with the midterm, but but you know a handful of people did that. So I'm trying to make it clear here. I'm not asking you to research these subjects. I'm asking you to re restate to me or review to me what I said about these subjects in the same order given in the lecture. This information will not be found on the internet. So write the assignment as an essay. This is an, an essay assignment, not a bullet, not a list or bullet points or fragmented sentences. Write me a, an essay. No minimum or maximum length. Be simple, concise, to the point. An effective essay does not need to be more than a full page more or less, depending on your writing style. A multi-page, lengthy essay that goes into great detail about each point is not what I'm looking for here at all, and points will be taken off for that. So I'm not looking for a long dissertation. I'm looking for a simple, concise, to the point review of what I said, it, uh, You know, talking about the main points of what I was talking about. Uh, copying any portion of the supplemental lecture word for word, uh, and this can be done with you know voice recordings, and, and you know we, we have the technology to do that and I get people doing that please don't do that I don't want you to tell me write back to me what I said uh, that will result in a large reduction of points that's plagiarism okay that's using somebody else's work and calling it your own okay so here's our list of the of the eight lectures that we did in class uh, uh, so again two will be removed from the final list and not available to write about uh, you will not see the final list until you open the exam. So there you go, right there is the final list. Uh, uh, number nine, uh, so, so one through eight, we're on the midterm. Number nine, the American Colonization Society. Number 10, let there be light. Number 11, is there a silver lining? Uh, number 12, the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand. Number 13, the Bolshevik Revolution. Number 14, D-Day. Number 15, the Cuban Revolution. And number 16, the HIV AIDS epidemic. Okay. Okay, so go over this and you know, study from this. If you have any questions or, or issues, let me know. Uh, I will be available for the Zoom session on Wednesday, our last week. So please take advantage of that. I post that link in the morning. Uh, take advantage of that and come talk to me. Thank you.